Hello viewers, welcome to my channel once again. Today I be dropping a very important um, video. So in case you are looking at buying either of the direct drive or um, straight sewing industrial machine, this video is a must watch. So to be able to avoid uh, regrets and all of that, you have to watch this video. Thank you. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Today I came with a very good news. Most people have really disturbed me to make a video on this. The differences between a direct dry sewing machine and a normal industrial sewing machine. So I had no other option than to make this video. So if you are new to this channel, just subscribe because I know I will meet up to what you requested for. I'm going to give you the best of the knowledge I think and know will be of help to you. When it comes to comparing these two machines so let's go straight to the tutorial i will be listing the minimum of um, eight differences of these two machines so the number one differences i will be talking about is um the external one the red drive has an internal switch like the switch is attached to the machine while the straight sewing normal uh, industrial has an external and is not attached to the machine so i'm going to display everything i will be seeing here on the screen here just make sure you do good by not skipping any part of this video so that you not miss out in case you want to get any of these machines so the number two is um, the direct drive has a small panel while the normal straight sewing has a very big clutch that powers the machines. You know, the small panel here consume less power. Like you can use like 10 or 15 direct drive machine and it will not consume as much power as using the same quantity of light in a big clutch. So in case you are having a little power supply, I I suggest you go for the direct drive because it's really good and nice. But if you are having a, a good power supply, I think the motor here, the clutch, clutch motor is really good because the lifespan is really, really, really good compared to this one. You can change this one and still make use of your machine. But when once this small panel of this direct drive has any issue i'm scared of how you can be able to fix it because since it's uh, newly brought and i don't know but i think for that i just think you should go for the straight sewing with a big clutch otherwise this or that one is very good and the number third one is the direct drive doesn't make any sound when it comes to when you are owning it you can't even know except there's a display on the machine that the screen will just display that's when you know and the needle will shift so you know it is on it doesn't vibrate it doesn't make any noise but for normal industrial you hear the sound from the motor from the clock you hear the sound very loud and clear to show that it is on number four i will say again i will repeat the direct drive is less power consumption. The power consumption is very, very, very low. So I am repeating it again, while the other one has a very big power consumption. So the other one is for the speed control. When it comes to speed control, the direct drive can be brought to the minimum of 200 speed limit. And the highest of some machines is 5,000, why some is 4,700, some 3,000, something, depending on the product you are using. While the straight sewing industrial doesn't have any power control. So, from the day you had this machine or you purchase this machine, the same speed you see in it is the same speed you are going to use. So, I most times suggest the direct drive for beginners and mostly for females 
that complain ah this industrial is too fast and too like this stuff like that. So I with this in that aspect of the speed, I suggest you go to the one you can control the speed to the minimum on how you can be able to work with. So um for the direct drive again. The, the normal straight sewing industrial has the ability and is more stronger in working with strong fabric, thick fabric, than the direct drive. You know, that big clutch is not just there for fancy. It brings, it comes with a very high force. So when you are dealing with things like leather, things like uh, shoes and all of that, you need a big clutch and a, a direct, uh, not a direct drive, but a normal straight sewing industrial. So, or if you only sew things like Ankara, Chiffon, all other things, like normal package you can go for a direct drive. It's very good. So, like I said, the direct drive, again, another difference is, is direct drive has an imbued light. There's a light attached to it. So, this light, you see it, I'm going to display it there when the place is not okay for you. In terms of brightness, you can on the light and use it, or fabrics like black fabrics and all that. But for the straight sewing, normal sewing machine doesn't have any internal light, except you are going to use the one I'm going to show on the screen here, the external light, that light. Another one is the needle. The stability of the needle can be set in the direct drive. I'm going to display it here. While the other one, the other straight sewing, you can decide when the needle goes inside the fabric or comes out. But for this one, for the direct drive, you can decide whether your needle should remain inside of your fabric when you are not done sewing, or you can still use your foot to bring it up. Or you use this button. There's a button here, I'm going to display here, that you use. So, and there are so many, so many, so many differences, but I'm going to list this. I think these are the most essential things you are supposed to know when you want to make a purchase of either a direct drive or a normal straight sewing machine. And uh, what I would likely want to say again is, if you are a beginner and you've not gotten any of this industrial machine before now, I would prefer you go for the one with a big clutch. Because... It will really take you a long way. I'm not saying the, the, the direct drive is not good. I have used these two machines and I know what I'm talking about. I, as a beginner, don't just go ahead and start using the direct drive. Let it be a backup machine that you just upgraded. You choose to upgrade from the normal clutch machine to that one of uh, several, several motors. So it's very, very, very important when it comes to this. So, just subscribe. Yes, that's what I want to say. Subscribe because I'll be dropping out so many important videos again uh, concerning the usage of this machine. And in case you have any problem using your machine or it's having, you're having some difficulties in using it or there is uh, something, just check my playlist. I have so many videos there on how to maintain your machines, on how to fix some minor things that uh, you don't need a mechanic to do that for you. So if you watch them, like, share these videos as I keep updating you so that uh, you don't go to a mechanic often to and so to reduce the expenses in maintaining your machines. Thank you and have a nice day. This one is additional. That is Jara. Uh, if you are having the mind to go for a direct drive, please make sure you purchase the power surge. Power surge because the motor, the clutch motor, has the ability to absorb and control light more than a direct drive. So you really need a power surge to be able to help you control the machine in case of. Uh, too much inflow of uh, power and electricity depending on your source of light it will help to regulate the light not to blow off your machine so you really need it thank you